Tantse everyone. My name is Jeannie McDonald and I am an Indigenous support worker here at Mark R. Isfeld Secondary School. I'm here to share with you a video to help everyone to understand our role and job in the Cheney Winja or Downey Legacy Project. We are a legacy school and we will be making actions called Reconciliation. This is a collaborative movement where our school and our educators, our students, work together to empower and educate each other about reconciliation and reconciliation. Joanne Restool is here today to explain more on what we are going to do to empower our students and understand reconciliation. Ani Bozo Gilakasla. My name is Joanne Restool and I am Anishinaabe Kwe. And it, I am so happy to be alive to witness this time in the history of our country, to be a part of this healing that has been created and fired by the truth and reconciliation process. It has been a time where our people have been able to come forward and share their stories and bring forward that truth. Because when we share our truth, we truly begin to heal. The world was in darkness and our creator was not pleased. He decided he must return the shining things to the universe. In order to do this, he would have to use his special powers and medicine. Latusalagalis transformed himself into raven and flew through the darkness to the village of Chief Seagull. Raven perched himself in a tree that stood over the village. From this tree, he could watch what was going on below in Chief Seagull's village. Our creator, now known as Omilth, when he was in the form of Raven, could see that Chief Seagull's wife went for water at the same time every day. When she returned for water the following day, Omilth flew above her to a pine tree and transformed himself into a pine needle. He then fell into the water and drifted into the hands of Chief Seagull's wife, who unknowingly swallowed him. It wasn't long before she knew she was with child. When told, Chief Seagull hoped immediately for a child that would be just like himself. Not long after that, Omilth was born. As the child of Chief Seagull, he grew quickly. One day, the child wanted to play with the box that held all the shining things of heaven. But permission was not given. This made the child cry very loud and have a temper tantrum. When Chief Seagull heard this, he was impatient and did not want to put up with it. He grabbed the box and put it down for Omilth to play with. However, he warned the child not to open it. Then Chief Seagull went over to a corner of the house. When it was safe, creator, the creator transformed himself from child to raven. With his beak, he grabbed the box and quickly left the house. Once he was outside, Raven jumped into a canoe and paddled away. Before long, Raven came to an island. On it, he could see something moving around, and he went closer to see what it could be. When he got there, he saw that it was a tribe of women picking. The women saw Raven standing in his canoe with the large box, and they moved closer to have a better look. Raven asked the women what they were picking. Berries, the women answered. Will you give me some, Raven asked. At first, the women moved away. They did not want to give up any of their berries. After some discussion amongst themselves, they decided to give Raven only a few. In response, Raven lifted the box cover just enough to let some light shine through. When the women saw the light, they became excited and asked to see more. When Raven asked for more berries, they moved back from the shoreline. 
they knew that this time, that in order to see more of the light, they would have to give up more berries. The women gave just a little more than they had before. Raven responded by lifting the lid higher. The light filled more area than it had before. The women asked Raven to lift the lid even higher and offered him more berries. Raven lifted the lid even higher than he had before. The light now allowed the women to see all around them and they marveled at the beauty in which they stood. Finally, the eldest of the women made her way through the crowd and stood before Raven. She looked toward the ground and said, Your greatness, I have seen this before, and if we could see it all, I would give you all the berries I have. She gave him the small handful that she had managed to pick. This pleased Raven, and in turn he grabbed all the shining things from, of heaven from the box, and with one swoop of his wings, he placed them back in the universe. Raven, Omilth, who also has the name Latusalagalis, then went back to his village. He was pleased with the way goodness had been brought back to the world. Storytelling and stories are a strong tradition as part of our way of seeing the world and learning about our life's journey. In Raven Releasing the Sacred Fire, there are many aspects to this story that can be brought into our personal lives, our lives as communities, and our lives as nations within nations. The action of taking the shiny things and putting them away in a box, held away from the people is a strong message. The action of communication, cooperation, and trust, and opening the box and releasing the shiny things back into the universe is a strong teaching. We hope you have enjoyed this video, and we would like to say that to deepen your connection to the teachings in this story, we've created a few questions for you and we would like to invite you to deepen your relationship with this story through these questions. And we'd love to have you participate and be a part of this video project. So all my relations, thank you, Chimi Quetch.